Hello and welcome back to Tech Day's 10 minute IT jams. Uh, I'm Tech Day's managing editor and I am here today with a Thousand Eyes Principal Solutions Analyst, Mike Hicks. Welcome, Mike. Thanks, Eric. Great to be here. Right. Thousand Eyes is a network intelligence company uh, headquartered in the US, um, but also operates worldwide. The company recently announced a major acquisition deal. We will get to, into that very soon, but without further ado, let's turn it over to Mike. So let's dive into the first question. Mm -hmm. For an IT manager that hasn't worked with Thousand Eyes before, what are your key products and offerings? Yeah, okay, so, so Thousand Eyes provides a, a 360 degree view um, of, of your digital ecosystem. So across the cloud, the SaaS and the internet. We do this by combining the internet and WAN visibility, browser synthetics, end user monitoring and, uh, and internet insights. So Thousand Eyes was, was built originally to empower customers to see the internet and the cloud like it is their own environment. And as we're seeing cloud migrations, digital transformation efforts start to increase, especially under these conditions we find ourselves now, companies all over the world are starting to grapple with the increased dependency on the internet as their delivery mechanism. And we're gonna make that sort of visibility uh, for them to actually own to see what's happening for their mission critical applications, their cloud services and the websites they wanna go across from there. We do this by leveraging data collected from a fleet of vantage points throughout the globe. Uh, so then data centers, uh, virtual private clouds, end user devices, and combine this together to expose the impact and application on the service delivery that they're actually relying on from there. As there's sort of customers globally, there's the global brands would actually understand who actually use Thousand Nice to actually uh, understand what's happening in the environment. Uh, so Microsoft, Slack, Salesforce rely on Thousand Eyes technology to deliver these optimal customers and their employee experience. From a local perspective, uh, customers like Squeeze also use Thousand Eyes to actually deliver that. Brilliant. All right, you've got some very exciting news uh, in the last uh, month or so. So Cisco, Cisco recently announced its intent to acquire Thousand Eyes. Can you explain a little bit more about that? Yeah, very, very exciting. We're very excited about it. So the acquisition was announced in uh, in late May. It's expected to close later this year. Uh, from a customer perspective, uh, we're looking to obviously bring Cisco strength in the network and the application performance with thousand eyes visibility of the internet. Uh, it's going to provide a complete view with a lens on user experience and the business results delivered. So combining that shared source of truth, we're going to make it easier to break down the silos work together and obviously keep pace with the rapid demands of the digital, uh, uh, digital business. The Thousand Eyes capabilities are going to be incorporated across Cisco's core enterprises, uh, networking, cloud and app dynamics port portfolios, essentially to enhance the visibility across that enterprise and the uh, internet and the cloud. Brilliant. So you've mentioned a bit about uh, visibility there. Can we uh, touch on why vis visibility across the internet and the cloud is so important? Yeah, absolutely. So, so the last few years, we've seen this rapid acceleration of cloud adoption, you know, widespread use of SaaS applications and a reliance on the internet and the networks that are essentially outside of enterprise control. Uh, this increased dependence on the internet and the other third party infrastructures have compounded over the past several months, you know, specifically if we, we look at the COVID-19 pandemic, um, it reduces the ability for an enterprise IT team to actually predict to visualize and control the operational behavior. Essentially, it's outside of their control. So the internet is this vast, unpredictable compound of thousands of independently managed service providers, yet any of which of these can impact the experience of your users, even though you're, you're uh, uh, running an application. Um, so it's connecting to a particular site across from there. And, and across the internet, because it's so vast there, we get these network outages occurring daily. Uh, and it's challenging the ability of enterprise to actually deliver consistent employee and customer service. So it's a massive problem domain, uh, yeah, impossible for any one organization to monitor the entire internet. You know, if we actually look from uh, you know, the course of the past few months there, uh, there's unprecedented levels of outages in the, in the wake of the pandemic, you know, the lockdown orders. And also we're seeing changes as people start to come back on, uh, on, uh, out of the lockdown, comes from there. Uh, so beginning in March and continuing through April and May, we actually see these changes. Um, if we start to look at those figures, uh, the outages globally um, increased by more than 90% across March and over February and continues to remain high in May. We start to see those sort of change. We saw most of those occur within the telecom providers, you know, that 80% um, of the total outages that were experienced were across the telecom providers. And this is going to vary across region to region, uh, but each one's going to impact the users differently. So you might have a, a connection that comes into your particular area so it's impacted. 
So if you actually look at the North America, most of their outages, uh, certainly the longest and longest um, in duration, were, were taking place in what we're going to call lo local off hours. So sort of uh, times that were the more indicative of maintenance control. Uh, but that could have a flow down effect to someone sitting in, in Australia or New Zealand. And then similarly, if we look to the telcos from an EMEA, they were happening sort of sporadically throughout the day. Again, if we then focus then what that impact down to the ANZ, what these are more disruptive from a user standpoint, because the outages that we were seeing down here tend to take place more during the daytime hours, which also have more uh, of, a, of a direct impact. Um, so the businesses need to take uh, into account these third party dependencies uh, in their planning to be able to tap into the actual performance, to be able to collaborate with their cloud, their internet providers, uh, to quickly manage the outages before it impacts the customers. You know, be that taking restorative action or really just identifying from their help desk that we have a problem, it's outside of our domain, this is what we're doing to actually uh, uh, work around it. Brilliant. All right. So what infrastructure and resources do you have uh, here in the Australia and New Zealand market? Yeah, so, so you mentioned up front, we're, we're headquartered in San Francisco. We've got offices all around, around the globe, obviously, including Australia. Um, the NZ Mark is growing. I, I recently joined um, together with two senior sales executives um, as we continue to ramp up with the market demand. So we have a, a fairly large presence here in Australia and New Zealand at the moment. Okay, so for those watching, uh, if they want to contact uh, either you or with the Sales and Dice team, what is the best way to do so? Yeah, so the best way to reach out to me is through email, so mhicks at thousandeyes.com, or feel free to reach out on my, my LinkedIn uh, uh, details across in there, just under Mike Hicks. Um, we also run a, a, a trial, so if you go to the website, uh, thousandeyes.com, uh, uh, go to sign up page, you can actually run a trial uh, and, and experience the, the, the Thousand Eyes tool to see what's going on from there. I mentioned some of those outages across from there. Um, if you're actually curious to actually see what's happening from a global perspective, we do have an internet outages map, which we actually run uh, on, on the website. So again, go to the website, follow the links, and you'll be able to see what's happening uh, in a real-time basis around the world from, from that one there. Uh, we run these um, uh, weekly podcasts, which are really actually quite interesting. It's called the Internet Reports. Um, it covers the outages that are happening from a global perspective, anything uh, of, 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 of real deep interest. Uh, and you get those from uh, anywhere where you get your normal uh, podcast from, so Spotify, uh, iTunes, or wherever you normally get your podcast from. Brilliant. Sounds like you've got lots of resources and lots of people on, help, on hand to help your customers. Yep. All right, this concludes our Tech Day 10 minute IT Jam with Thousands of Eyes Principal Solutions Analyst Mike Hicks. Thank you very much for talking to us today. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Thank you.